Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So my buddy Dan walked in, you know, Dan the man, the crazy inventor, trying to make rackets on his own. Well, he didn't make me one this time, but he brought me one to try. Let's see what it is. Stay tuned. All right, so my man Dan brought me this racket and he said, I want you to try this. And I'm like, okay. So obviously it's a Prince. Obviously it has something to do with, um, not sure, half a skull on the head. <clears throat> it's got half of a cover. Brings me back to the wooden aluminum steel days of tennis rackets. I don't make covers like this anymore. At least not, not that I know of. So let's see what we got here. It's the O3 Tattoo 100 Limited Edition. And it's Prince by Hydrogen. So I don't know much about this. I should probably do a little bit of research. But it says reinforced by Techstream. Enjoy lighter performance. Let's take a look at some specs here. On the placard. Oh wow, look at this. It's this actually shaped like um a skull. <laughs> All right. Prince, what are you doing? Okay. <clears throat> Head size is a hundred, weight is ten point two, balance is I call it three twenty-five. Um, length is twenty-seven. Let's look at the power scale here. It's definitely on the lower end of that power scale. 875 is slightly on the lower end. Um, yeah, it's the lower middle um, on their power scale. So it kind of reminds me of, you know, something like this, like a boost racket, which is kind of in the same specs as that one. So it's like around 100, 102 square inch head, about 10.2 ounces. 10.2 ounces seems to be the sweet spot in a lot of these pre-strung rackets. Um, this does have power holes. It is super cool looking with, looks like a tattooed body. Well, tattooed body of a tennis racket. So this is the same thing on the other side. But it is very cool. I mean, my guess is this is about $100 um, just because it's pre-strung and the covers on it and the stencil is part of the, the coolness, too, with the, the skull. So, I mean, I'm actually pretty excited to try it. I'm actually going to show you some more of this. This is really cool, actually, the way they designed it. Let's see the other side. And so, all right, well, let's see if uh, I can find a coach to play with it and See what they think too. All right, I'll see you on the court. All right, so we're on the court. Got my man, Coach Chris. We're, st we're gonna test out that O3 Tattoo 100 limited edition. Prince by Hydrogen. All right, so PL870 means it's slightly on the lower side of that power spectrum. Uh, I mean, it looks really cool, guys. Um, Prince, hydrogen. I mean, I think we can imagine this all around Coach Chris's arms. You know, put a little tear on his face. You're going to be crying because he looks so good. Coach Chris, what do you think of this racket? 
Um, other than getting tattooed up, uh, the racket it feels like a, a kind of like a, sh a showcase racket. It's not really. I don't think it's really meant to be, at least for the pros to play with. Um, it's definitely probably around beginner level ish, but I wouldn't even recommend it there too. It's very dead. When I was hitting with it, um, it, it just wasn't as responsive. I didn't really feel like I could do anything with it. Um, sad to say, but it's really cool. Uh, the design, I like how Hydrogen tried to do something with a um, uh, with Prince, but in terms of like playability, definitely not. Definitely cool to look at, but not playable. Yeah, I, I agree with Chris. I, I don't think, I mean, other than the coolness of the whole racket itself, um, the aesthetics of it, th this racket was pretty dead. I don't think the the strings helped it at all either. All right, it's, it felt like it was strung at like 70 pounds, <laughs> okay? All right, 70, it, I felt like it was strung really, really tight. I think overly tight for a pre-strung racket. I understand that the time frame might be a little different because it might have been strung a year ago and they're worried that it's going to lose tension, you know, sitting on the boat and trying to get over here. But I think it was just a little overdone um, because it's still tight, like tight, tight. I think most people who play with this are going to be like, man, there's like no power in this racket. I mean, you're starting with a 875 already and then you're stringing it at like, you know, 69, 70, 80 pounds. You know, it's going to be real dead, real dead. There was no guts to this racket. So I don't, I, aside from just buying it for its looks itself, I think you should restring the racket. Unfortunately, you would take the stencil out of the equation, which is another part of this cool racket. Um, this is bald as his head. Exactly. It looks like me. Anyways, um, yeah, I don't know. I think if you buy the racket for the coolness of the frame, get a restring. It definitely will help it a lot. Okay? I want to thank my man, Coach Chris. Where can we find you, Chris? You can find me at CB Chen Tennis. And that's it. That's it. Look at that. There's some love right there. Yeah. I love how they designed it, though. I want to also thank my man, Dan, for loaning me this racket. He is the man behind loaning me this racket. Thank you, Dan. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.